Good morning, Lloyd. I hope the two of you are doing well. So here is 3107 Chisholm. So this is kind of right off Stan Schluter, um, which is a really, really good spot because it's right next to the freeway and um, the neighborhood looks really cute. No red flags that I'm really seeing here. Show you the street. Pretty quiet. Um, don't know if that's just because of the time of day. It is uh, about 10.15 right now. All right, let's go inside. It's got an interesting layout and you'll see what I mean. Um, but I think it has a lot of potential. It's definitely the probably the nicest one that we've seen so far in terms of um, stuff that needs to be done with it. Okay, so I mean, this whole living space is blue, <laughs> so that might need to be fixed. But, um, but yeah, so here's the living room. Um, really big and open. You've got a coat closet here. Pretty small coat closet, but that's all right. Um, I'm not seeing any damage to the floor or anything. There's a tiny, tiny hint of a like cat pee smell, but I think, you know, a good scrub and you're, and you're good. It's nowhere near what it was like at the other place. So here's the garage. Not sure what's going on. I mean, and I think this is where the smell is coming from. So their litter box must have been out here. Um, so here's the garage. Yeah, the floor is a bit strange. It's that steel, it, uh, peel and stick tile looking stuff, I think. But you've got your two car garage, you've got your little workbench over there, and this is where um, the washer and dryer are. So I'm not sure why those are still here. We could try to see if they convey, that would be handy. Um, and here's a Whirlpool water heater. And let's sneak out the side door here and see if that's where the AC is. There are, um, are two doors to the backyard. There's a big covered patio out back, but we'll go here first. So side gate. Little path. And here's the AC unit. I'm not seeing what brand it is. Um, there's it there. Zoom in on the for you, Irene. Okay, let's go back in. Okay, oh, and there's a doorbell on the side, too. Okay. Now, let's see the house house. So, the kitchen is the only part that I'd see. It looks a little bit... Not small, but like crowded-ish. It's kind of got this narrow galley type. But you got the fridge here, which you can see if that conveys. Looks like the paint is a bit new, newer. It looks all right, but I don't know why they would paint the cabinets the same color as the wall. But counters look all right. Don't see anything major. There's that going on though. So it's a little Eden kitchen, the bay window, got a fan and a light in here. Pretty small table size, but I mean, I think that's just for the Eden part and the chandelier here makes me think that you would put like a proper dining room table there and then living room here, but I don't know, just thinking out loud. So here we go, bedrooms over here, you've got some nice Storage space off to the side of the bathroom. Bathrooms are there. Hello. Vanity's all right. They look pretty clean. I mean, the tub looks a bit worse for wear, but I mean, I don't see any issues with the grout or no broken tiles or anything like that. Looks like a new shower head and Nothing around the toilet that I'm seeing. I'm trying to give you more detailed videos um, now that I know what you kind of look for when you're at the houses. So here's the master. There's no carpet throughout, by the way. Just these floors here. So the master has his and her closet, which 
I guess they connect. So it's one giant closet with two doors. And they've got an ensuite. Oh, I see a crack there. It's the only one I've seen though. Again, not too bad. Tile looks good. Nothing on the toilet. And okay, there's some cracks on this side too. So I don't know if that's a foundation issue. Okay. So one bedroom down. Here is bedroom number two. Real good size. This also has a two door connecting closet. So there you go. If you ask me though, that kind of wastes wall space, but to each his own. Okay, there's a third bedroom, but it's a bit, this is where the floor plan gets a bit interesting, like I said, it's a bit odd. You've got a real big closet here, nice walk-in closet. Now, so this is technically, a, oop, this is technically a bedroom because it has the closet, but it's got this door here out to this room. Now, this room's a bit strange because I thought maybe this would be like the utility space, but the washer and dryer go in the garage. So I'm not really sure what this space is used for. Um, this light doesn't work, so I don't have that on. But you got the two windows here. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but I'll zoom in that for you. It like goes down a bit. I don't know why. Like it's a ramp or something, but it's not like that on the other side. But as you can see, it's just this really long space that I don't really understand <laughs> what it's used for. Um, let's see, we've got a little, oh here, okay, well here's the AC. Um, yeah, so two doors to it, one to a bedroom, and then one to the living space. So, I mean, you can make this like an office, I guess, a play area, I'm not really sure what you'd do with it. But the backyard's nice. It's got potential. Real big covered patio with a fan, some awnings. Here's the side yard. It goes all the way to the front of the house. And that, I mean, I love gardening, so that could be really cool. You obviously have to put some work into it, but it could be a nice project for someone. And then you've got a shed. Let's go check it out. Alright, making sure nothing's gonna jump out at me. Yeah. So it looks like it was used for, because there's soil on the ground and stuff, used for their gardening supplies, but this is a really good, this is big, um, solid shed with a door that locks. Um, I mean, it's a minor work, but it's got a little covered paving, paved square over here. And then there's the side of the house where I came out the garage. So, all right. Um, like I said, I personally think this is like uh, one of the nicest that we've seen so far. I know you would not have trouble renting it because this is a really great location and um, for the price that it is, I don't think it's going to stay on the market for long. So, um, so yeah, just let me know what you think. Talk to you guys soon. Bye bye.